Good morning everybody. It's just gone five o'clock in the morning and I'm here at the farm very early. I've just started up the John Deere 6910. I've attached the small water tank to it which I'm going to use to fill up the greenhouses with. Okay very early morning start. I just thought I'd whisper, make it sound a little bit more realistic. I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm stupid. And you're right, I am. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, we just need to turn this around. See how much that takes. Good. Both got manure and water. Right, we'll take this back up now. And the reason why we're starting so early is because we have to cultivate Fields 29. We might not finish it in this episode. So you're going to watch me do that. No, it's a bit different to the normal yard work and feeding of the cattle and stuff. Okay, so there's two things with the cultivating side of it. We're going to use the John Deere, but we're going to use the Massey Ferguson. Now, what I mean by that is we're going to use the smaller one on the John Deere, just here, the blue one. Okay, the reason for that, because Fields 29 has um, telegraph poles, and I think the big cultivator over there, which we've rented, won't allow us to get round the telegraph poles I'm thinking about putting a front weight on but I need to buy a front weight and just uh, go back here go to weights I'm sure we've got a, a front weight which like this here there we go. We've got the 120 and the 600. If this is for the Zeta, I'm not sure whether these will fit. However, we'll have to give it a go, I'm afraid. So let's keep an eye out for that small front weight, Zeta weight. Oh, 
Huh. Okay. So it's moving about quite a bit. I do want to use the John Deere. We could use the the class. But I don't think 200 is going to be enough. Because we don't have a... it's this way. If not, we might have to use the class. It's not that way. And it might just be for the Zeta. I don't think it'll fit. So what we'll do... Just drop that off, because it is a little bit... ...light on the front side. No, it stood up right. Let's see if I can attach it now. There we go. Right, we'll leave the John D here, I'm afraid, and go grab the the class. Should be enough for that cultivator. Then we'll grab the Massey Ferguson. It's coming up to six o'clock. We really do need to make a start on on that field. We will probably finish it off in fields in the next episode, sorry, as well. I don't think we'll finish it all off in this. Depends. I might be underestimating how big this cultivator is. I should really let them warm up. It's been a while since I've used this. Brilliant tractor this. One of the biggest tractors we've got. There's only three tractors, biggest tractors we've got, and that's the the Fent 1050, this, and the fast track. So we're just gonna Put on follow me just to take him out of the of the field. But we'll go around this way just to make sure we've got enough.
Okay. So they're nearly ready to go. Let's just close this gate for the cows. We need to check on the cows after we've done Field 29, guys. So we can't forget, can't forget that. Now, this one's not going to be used straight away. We're going to do the Massey Ferguson one first. You know what? We had this trouble last time with the Massey Fergusons. On the follow me mod. So I'm starting to think whether it's the... Tractors. Come back for you in a minute. Heads down to field. So we've got grass, hay bales, and when this is done, silage. start up the top corner as you can see it's, it's been ploughed I just don't want to put grass into ploughed I know you can or you could but I just you know I'm not quite sure whether that will be So 13 hours left on this, guys. Oh, I could have just jumped out there. Just going to bring this over to the field. Ready? Then it's on to the cows. Doing stuff with the cows after this field's been planted. And then we're going to move on to fields 28 and then we're on to 20. And then we do need to do sugar beet and... Uh, potatoes. That's well, going to leave us here. Switch that off. Okay, so let's lower the cultivator. I've got my cup of tea with me. So it's having no trouble whatsoever really with this uh, this cultivator. I'm sure we could get a better speed out of it, but not too much out of the 1050, but what's the realistic speeds? I mean I think this is perfect speed, to be honest with you. Am I gonna hit it? No. Good. We can finish off these little bits and stuff. This is what the smaller one's for, you see. To get in between the telegraph poles and finish this bottom end off. we 
plus 28. Not a bad little setup. To be honest with you, half past six in the morning, the sun's rising. If only I was there in real life to smell that fresh air on the morning. The sound of the tractor and the cultivator. Oh, it's heaven. Can't beat it. Oh, you can beat it. I mean, um, you know, I guess food would beat it for me. I do like my food. Or better still, being here with a chicken burger. Oh yeah, definitely. I do like the food. It's a nice cultivator, is this? It's just the right size for this field. So we've got about another 10 minutes maybe and then we'll finish it off might be for other three episodes but I'm not going to skip this one I just feel that we need to do a field where I don't when I, whereas before I start a field towards a, an end of a, a video and then start the next video or episode where it's just the end of it but I thought if we do the whole field use of the Massey Ferguson for the first time really I think we've only just brought it down from the shop but I think that's all we've done with it so far Beautiful morning, the sun's out, there's no clouds. See Willow Farm over there at the, at the top. Yeah, it's good. doing quite well. So who's looking forward to the new Let's Play series? I am, although I am really enjoying Sandy Bay Let's Play series at the moment. 
got quite a lot to be getting on with. We've done quite a lot in a short amount of time, if I'm quite honest. So, things can only get better. I'm looking forward to doing fields 30, 31 and 29, all separate bales. Grass, hay and silage. So that's going to be uh, interesting. Okay, so we're just going to stop there in a minute. And what we'll do is, we're going to leave, go to the top, and then start the next row, but then we're going to leave it there for the next episode. And then do the rest of the field, hopefully, in one episode. And then it's on to fertilising. And then seeding, grass. So I need to figure out which cedar sewing machine to use. We also need to buy the wood chip. Um, processing plant as well, which I think we're going to put up at Willow Farm. Or oh, we might have to squeeze it at Sandy Bay next to the wood chips. Okay guys, so I'm just going to leave it here for this episode. And then we'll continue. We might get it done in one episode, I do believe. But we'll have to see. So, I will see you in the next episode. And hopefully we can get this field finished, cultivated, ready for uh, sowing, uh, fertilising. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.